Ian the Gary, man. What's up guys, it's Colby Chaos Covington. I'm coming to you live from the T-Mobile Arena, December 16th, live on pay-per-view, and here's my rundown of the welterweight division. Renat Gladiator Fakradina! I swear I've never heard of that name in my life. But then again, I don't pay attention to people that aren't like in my crosshairs, you know, at the top of the mountain. I've been at the top of this UFC mountain in the division for, you know, six, seven years. So I'm not paying attention to guys that are just breaking into the rankings now in the 15 level because I know I'll never fight them. Michael Chiesa. <laughs> uh, Guy's a bum. I don't even know why they have him in the rankings still. I mean, he's inactive. He barely ever fights. I mean, he's complete nobody. The guy's a quitter. I mean, yeah, I don't even know why he's in the rankings. The guy's literally a jobber. Another jobber that should have hung up the gloves a long time ago. You know, he just looks like he's just fighting for a paycheck now. Doesn't look like the guy that started his career that had a lot of passion and fire in his soul. So... You know, I respect him for, you know, serving this country and, you know, being a, a great patriot to protect our freedoms here in America. But as far as fighting ability goes, not a good fighter. Helen Holland! Kevin Holland is the biggest waste of talent I've ever seen in my life. The guy's a complete scrub, like talks such a big game, but doesn't walk or back it up. You know, he got beat up by the 40-year-old karate kid and... You know, he wants to talk big game about the top dogs of the division. Nah, kid, you can't talk before you're walking. Go go walk before you talk, kid. Jack Della Madalena. Jack Della, Ma Della Madalena, whatever. Never heard of him. Ian Machado! Let's go! Ian the <laughs> Gary? Man, who would take the last name? of their wife's ex-husband and put it as your own last name. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a cuck. The silent assassin, Vicente Luque. Brain bleed Luque. Guy's just a punching bag. He's just out there getting punched around, getting smacked around because, you know, he's not good enough to be at the top of the division. Time. How is Luque Jeff Neal, the, the Outback bus boy, he's not a UFC fighter. That guy, is, he works at uh, Outback Steakhouse, and, you know, he's, he does a better job at Outback Steakhouse as the bus boy than he does as a UFC fighter. Oh, there's the shot. Beautiful level change there by Brady. Honestly, I know nothing about Sean Brady. I mean, I think he got, you know, knocked out and his hype ended. So, you know, I don't know. He's not, doesn't seem like a very good fighter. Steven Wonderboy Thompson, the 41-year-old karate virgin that's driving kids around in a karate van. What's so cool about that? Shavkat Rachmanov, I said. Shit rat Rachmanov. Don't have much to say about him. Seems like he's just all hype, hasn't really fought any of the top dogs in the division, so. You know, don't know anything about the guy. Don't don't pay attention. He's not my crosshairs, so don't pay attention. Oh, wow! First thought he had it won. Maya has recovered. Now Gilbert Burns hammers away. Gilbert Burns. Gilbert Burns. Yeah, you know, he's a lightweight. You know, he's a lightweight transplant. Shouldn't be at welterweight. Too small, too little. You know, just not tough enough, so... You know, good family man, though. Do respect the guy for being a good family man and being from Boca. So, you know, he's another Florida guy like myself. So, you know, don't have anything too bad to say about him. Bilal, remember the name Muhammad? Bilal Muhammad, just a complete scumbag. He should be cut from the UFC roster, and it's, he's an embarrassment to the sport. Marty Fake Newsman, number one, uh, you know, washed up, you know, the, the 10 rounds he had to do with me, you know, took the life out of him, took the fight out of him. You could tell he's just not the same guy, you know, his chin's kind of gone, doesn't have that passion and hunger anymore. So, you know, Cameron, you had a great career, but you need to, it's time to retire, man. The 10 rounds really took it out of you.
Leon, mumble mouth, Edward Scissorhands, December 16th. I'm going to handle you. You're going back to Hogwarts, empty handed, Junior. Number one, Colby Covington, the greatest welterweight fighter in the history of the sport. It's unprecedented, unmatched what Colby brings to the octagon. Man, he's just, he's unbeatable, man. He's the cardio machine. He has a third lung. He's Donald Trump's favorite fighter. He's America's champion, people's champion. I mean, the list goes on and on. The king of Miami. I mean, who's, all these titles. I mean, I don't know what to do. My shelf is like full. What am I going to do with my undisputed world title December 16th? 